we compensate our donors for their time and effort. So you think, well, what are they getting compensated for? That, is, that seems like a lot of money for not very much effort. Well, one of the things to keep in mind is once a donor has been selected, that she will end up undergoing a complete exam at her physician's office. So if she's a student, she will have to miss that day of school. If she is a working person, she will have to miss that day of work. If she's a stay-at-home mom, she's going to have to have a babysitter so that she will be able to go to this appointment. After that appointment, she's usually going to be sent to a psychologist. That's going to be uh, at least two appointments. Most psychologists do a MMPI or a PIA and then have them come back for another visit to sit down and talk about you know, their uh, psychological evaluation. So right now we're at two to three days off work. Then you have to come in and see the nurse for an injection training session. That's usually going to be another appointment. Then when you're about ready to start the cycle, you're going to have to come in and have your FDA labs to test for communal diseases and your startup labs drawn. Then once you start medication, you're going to start going to the clinic every other day over a 10 to 12 day period. Once that's completed, you're going to have one last visit, which is going to encompass the actual retrieval day, which means you're out the whole day. So for most donors, they're going to have to come up with 10 to 12 different reasons why they need to take half a day off, a whole day off, a couple of hours off.